Hi, I'm Leo Bryan, and I'm joined here today by Christopher Watkin, who's going to tell us how to set up a self-employed estate agency. Let's talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> it, it feels a bit different to this side, doesn't it? <laughs> um, well, Lee, I mean, you've set up your own self-employed estate agency model with your business partner and recently been taken over by the great guys at IAD. Other self-employed estate agency models are available. Well, that's um, good. And I think the biggest thing is this, is does the world need another self-employed estate agency model? You tell me, you're setting one up. Well, I think the magic thing is this, is that um, the world doesn't just need another self-employed estate agency model. It needs, it needs, a, 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 I, I'm a huge believer in the self-employed model itself. I, th I think it, you know, gone are the days where you could, uh, on, you know, borrow ten grand off your mum and going up and a, up and up an estate agency. You need fifty, a hundred grand, and I think fundamentally the self-employed estate agency model, Lee, is you give up a third of your fee, roughly, but in return you get cheap right move, cheap Zupra, and a cheap CRM with a bit of support. And if people say to me which model is the best, and I say to them this, they're all the same. The only difference is is the person who is the, the leader of the firm mm -hmm. and your direct sponsor. And that is the, 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 the genuine decision maker of which one I would go with, is who is going to mentor you on a day-by-day -day basis and who is going to lead and guide you in, with the fir general firm in a direction. And it doesn't matter whether you're going with a model that's at 70% or one at 80%, that's fundamentally what it comes down to. The biggest fear that estate agents have about moving from employed to self-employed estate agency is the fear of failure. And, you know, can you remember when you started your estate agency? I can, or, I can. Um, you had hair then, hair then, didn't you? I, I had hair then, absolutely. And, and, and I lost listings like everybody else. How would you think people should overcome that fear of failure? And do you think the, the model can support agents through that process? I think fundamentally, I was talking to to Cremont earlier on, who's the, the the boss man of the of the of the global IAD firm, and I said that the type of personality type that makes a UK estate agency is on a disc profile, an I type, an influencer, an outward going per people person, or a yellow, as I think mm. are on the uh, mm. other model, mm -hmm. and their biggest fear is rejection. That's why I think we're really bad at losing listings because we don't want to feel rejected. So to, to answer your question with how do you get over that fear, I think sometimes you just have to embrace it. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe that the fear, it, fear is what drives us, but it shouldn't hold us back. You know, if you go to a nursing home, you can smell regret in the room. I don't, you know, my advice to anyone watching this is go and see your grandparents or great grandparents and talk to them, you know, in their last few months of their lives. And everyone, I'm getting quite deep here, will have regrets. Do people regret what they did do or what they, what they did do? I think very rarely do they regret what they did do and, and very much regret some of the things that they didn't do or some of the opportunities that they didn't take. I mean, there are very well-known people in the industry and outside the industry that, who have made a number of failures before they actually mm. made a success. Yeah. And I think a lot of people, you know, they're, they're used to having two cars on the drive and having their car dough delivered and Jim Carner lessons and a caravan. And I think you've got to decide is what's more important. Is it giving those things to your children, but you being a miserable husband or a miserable wife and a miserable mm. mother or father? Or is it saying to the kids, there's going to be no holidays this year, apart from a week in a tent in Torquay, which, you know, it, you know, of course it's lovely, <laughs> but and going about, you know, going down to one car and, and, and making sacrifices, but almost eating the dirt for a couple of years t to fly in the, in, you know, f to soar like an eagle yeah. in five yeah. or ten years' time. I've but, got kids, I don't think they'd notice. Like some of those things, you know, some of those things I think we build up in our heads, they're bigger than they really are to the rest of the people around you. The other fear is looking a prat in front of their mates. Hmm. How did you get over your fear? I think through repetition, um, I think was, was you, you do just have to get back on the horse. But I think um, I had a, a, a business partner who, who supported me and I supported him. 
And actually, I think having somebody to talk through the process, to debrief a little, and to maybe think about what you could have done a little bit better was really helpful. It's interesting because a lot of people who, you know, you set up your estate agency model mm. in a more traditional way, is you would actually think it was stupid to set up with someone else because you've got two mouths to feed and not one. Yeah, and do you know what? I, I disagree. <laughs> I, I disagree from experience. But no, but it, I, I, would agree, I, I agree with you. doing it again. No, uh, I, I agree with yeah. you because actually it's shared pain and you can feed mm. off each other. That's why I love about the IAD model yeah. is that the mentorship is mm. really, really strong. I get that. I've spoken to lots of people. And that, if there's one thing that screams at me is that is the, is the culture within IAD. Yeah. Uh, the kinship, I like that, mm. so I'm going to steal that one off you. I think the important thing is this, is you have to, you said the fear, the, the responsibility of getting over the fear can only be the person looking at you in the mirror. Mm -hmm. But you as the boss of the, of, of the brokerage model also have a responsibility. And I think, as I said, the world doesn't need another self-employed estate agency model. And there's plenty of agents out there who are setting up their own self-employed estate agency models for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. They can see it as a great way to bring cash in. Now, it's interesting that there is one self-employed estate agency model where over half of the people that have been introduced to that self-employed model have come from two out of the 400 agents. This is anecdotal mm -hmm. evidence I've heard. There are other agents that, that are almost cult-like in a good way, and they bring a certain type of person in. They're, they're, they're limited on geography and where they attract people in. But if there's one thing that I've noticed, and this is one thing that I'm going to have to recommend you do more of, Lee, and I'll give you your due. You have up to your game on this one, mate. So it's a praise. And Watkin doesn't throw many phrases out there. <laughs> do, do I? <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, is this. You need to grab the attention and the eyeballs of people within the UK, and you need to become a thought leader in the industry. Hmm. It's what Ben Moore has done, it's what Scott has done, it's yep. what Claire Readings has done. And you you need people to listen to, to, to what you have to say. You have to win not only their heart, their heads, but their hearts mm. as well. And what you've got to remember is this, is that 19 out of 20 decisions that a human actually makes, the emotional side says yes first. It leads, yeah. Okay? yeah. And I think it's very good, there are Plenty of people out there who are quite obviously recruiting mm. self-employed estate agents. I'm not a huge fan of the word recruiting. And it, you, you can tell it's all about intent. They're doing it, for, you can tell they're doing it for money. They're talking about all the wonderful things that are happening in their lives. And I would say, I think you have an ethical responsibility mm. to say that, yeah, you have a three in 10 chance yep. of this not working. And you, you don't start, you know, don't always talk about the, what, how good this stuff is. Mm but show some vulnerability and show yep. how bad it is. I love uh, the tough day posts a few people are putting out now recently. I think people are, are switching on to that a little bit. And I think it's very, maybe it's very British of us in a psyche that we do want to understand some of those tough days and then understanding what happened after. Um, saw a great one from Matt Giggs just recently, but it was a tough day, so it became better. And it's, it's a really story. Hum if you want to get inside a human's brain, you have to hit the emotional side first and the best way, fast track, you know, with, with police sirens straight in is tell stories. Yep. Be vulnerable, mm -hmm. but also talk about the agent's fears and frustrations. Yeah. Get out there and talk about it. I mean, it's interesting. I was on the phone to someone today when we were coming on the lap, uh, on the, on the, in the cab, and she, and she said, I've been following your videos for two years, and, you know, I'm thinking of setting up a self-employed estate agency model. And, and Matt behind the camera will say this. I said, do you, we were talking, he says, mm. it's all about getting people to know you, then like you, then trust you. Yeah. And I said, question, you obviously trust me because you're picking the phone up to me, but do you actually know what I sell? Mm. What do you think her answer was? Did she not know? She didn't know. <laughs> and that's the thing is this, is my advice to any, any self-employed estate agency model out there is stop being market barrow boy like, stop trying to sell, get people to buy off you. Mm. And the one thing I think that is particularly I like that I would, if I was setting up a self-employed estate agency model, that I'd steal off you lot at IAD, is the, is the, the culture mm. and the mentorship, that we're not just here to recruit, we're here to bring people into the family. That and if you can create that family environment, then you are gonna win so big. Mm. I don't know if that answers your question. It does, I'll it get does. off my soapbox. I've got one more. Go on then. Tell me, how big do you think the self-employed space is going to grow within the UK? You look at a lot of stats, you, you work with data, 
what can you see in terms of upcoming trends and what's your prediction for its its space in the UK market? The self-employed estate agency model at the moment has approximately 2.46% of the market. Approximately. <laughs> <laughs> and it has grown in the last two years by about, it was just under 2% a couple of years ago. I went on camera five years ago and said I thought within 10 years it would be 30%. I think, I, I think it will be 30%. But I think we're probably talking more like 20 years than 10 years. Mm. I, I, to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter whether you're self-employed, employed, whether you're corporate or independent. We are in a service-based industry, Lee, and our job is to help someone move from one chapter of their life to the other. And if you can do that with care and, and helping someone, and, and I think a lot of estate agents think estate agents there to serve, estate agencies there to serve estate agents. No, we're here to serve vendors and buyers. Mm. And I think as more and more people succeed in this model, tell the stories, accept the potential pitfalls, it can only get better. So mm. I don't know, probably 5%, but I mean, even if we got to 8%, that's the size of a con that, you know, Connell's oh. sequence is 8.9% mm -hmm. of the whole, you know, they are a behemoth. Yeah. You know, their nearest competitor is 2%. Miles away. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, to say the self-employed estate agency is 2.46 doesn't sound a lot, but that's like hunters and heart and someone else all wrapped up into one. Yeah. So keep up the good work, guys. Thank you. Um, yeah, and I think IAD will, will make a good dent in that, as will the others as well. Yeah, yeah no, definitely. Great to provide some more yeah, options to, to the mm. great agents, great people that want to be in this industry of ours.